We've been talking a lot lately in our conferences about installing article directories. Uh, one of the purposes for installing your own article directory is to allow you to uh, use that form to get backlinks to your money sites and, and uh, other sites that you own. Now, as with anything else, the validity of this will only be known to you through testing. In other words, don't take my word for it. Don't take the word from anybody else you read. You have to test it. And uh, as you recall, uh, a lot of us set up the free uh, art article exchange sites, but we're many were discouraged when they discovered that those sites will not work on GVO because of the necessity of having 777 permissions. But a lot of us did set them up on other sites such as HostGator, and in fact I have one set up over there, and I'm getting ready to set up a second one using the uh, technique I'm going to show you here this morning using uh, WordPress uh, along with a free theme and a free plugin designed exactly for article directories. Now I've already set one of these up over the weekend on GVO. It works perfect. There's no problem at all. And the method that I'm using uh, with it is I'm setting it up completely automatic. I'm bringing in articles from uh, unique article uh, writers and uh, using a, a free plugin from that site. Uh, the site automatically updates itself on a daily basis. So let's go through this and, and see how to accomplish that. These are the four items you'll need to successfully complete your article directory using WordPress and I will put the links to download these uh, in the form so you can find the exact links. There is a problem with one of the uh, themes. If you download the wrong theme uh, it does not set up correctly so I'm going to show you Actually, I'll show you in the video where to get it, but then I'll put the links in the uh, forum also. The first one is the Article Directory WordPress theme called Article Directory for obvious reasons. And then there's a plugin for Article Directory. And then at Unique Article Wizard, they have a free plugin, and you find it on the, the, the Frequently Asked Question page. I'll show you where that link is at. And then on any site that you're using, uh, especially an automatic WordPress blog or a, a large blog that's using a lot of resources, especially with an article directory that certainly uses up a lot of resources, you want to use the WordPress Super Cache plugin. Uh, so once you have those uh, items downloaded to your computer, it's a snap to set this up and let's go through the process. I thought before we went too far, I'd actually show you what these directories look like when they're completed. Uh, this is my domain name, articlefaucet.org, and this is the one that's set up on GVO. And as you can see, I set this up uh, Saturday afternoon. I already have 26 published articles from 15 authors, and these all are coming in automatically uh, from uh, UAW. And of course, what I'm going to do on this is I'll take all the articles that I have. I have close to 200 articles, most of those on Ezine articles, and I will add those also and probably give those prominence. Now what this will do for me is uh, uh, not only will it give me another source to promote my own articles, but of course I'm going to have links added in the widgets and the sidebar over here to my money sites. So this should give me backlinks to my money sites. Now uh, you'll see that the writing on this is in blue uh, and a, a little different color uh, orientation here than what you're going to see on the actual theme. Uh, because I got into CSS and did a little fooling around. So when you see the actual uh, default theme that we're going to load on this next uh, domain, uh, everything will be in red. Well, let's move on. This is the actual link you want to use. Make sure you download the, pl or the theme from this link. And this is the site you'll find yourself at with that link article directory. Scroll down till you get to this point here where it says article directory WordPress theme. And every time you come to the site there will be a different price in here. Okay, You can actually uh, put a price in here uh, if, if you want to to pay for this but it goes to some I, I believe it's a German site. It's not a PayPal payment site. So my suggestion would be if you're happy with the Steam and you're making money with it, there is a link on it to where you can make it right here where you can make a donation to PayPal and I think that's a much better way of doing it. So to download this for free, simply put a zero in here and then click on buy or download. 
All right, and now it changes to download for free, and that's what we'll do. And as always, you're going to save this uh, folder uh, uh, to some place on your computer where you can find it, and that'll give you the theme. Now we need to go and uh, get the plugin. This is the link to download the Article Directory WordPress plugin, and it comes from the, uh, the same developer. Well, you can run into the same situation and download it the same way. Now you can also search on the WordPress plugins if you're more comfortable downloading it there and download the plugin from there. I did that and it seemed to work fine. So you take your choice. You can either use this one or simply do a search on the uh, WordPress plugins and download it from there. To download the unique Article Wizard free plugin, this is the link you will use and uh, you have to do just a little searching when you get to that page to find it. But actually what you'll do is scroll to the bottom, you'll find a blue box there, and within that box you'll find the link that you need to download the plugin. That unique article wizard link will bring you to their frequently asked question page. Scroll to the bottom where you'll find a blue box. Look for the WordPress link and click on that and you'll be able to download the plugin. Now when you click that download link, you'll first be brought to this page where they have a one-click plugin installer. I've not used this before, so uh, I'm assuming that this automatically installs it on that uh, uh, blog for you. Uh, what I prefer to do is scroll down to the bottom, find the same box again, and now click on the link one more time, and now you'll be able to download this and have it on your computer. So you can install this on more than one blog if you wish to. And now at last we've come to the last item we need, which is the uh, WordPress Super Cache plugin. And this you'll download directly from the uh, WordPress site if you follow this link. And here at the WordPress site, you can simply download the plugin. Now that we have all the tools that we need, let's put this little directory to work for us. As mentioned earlier in this video, this particular domain is on the HostGator Hypnotherapy Bulletin Board. This is a domain I've had around for two or three years. I got it originally to uh, help promote products for a local hypnotherapist. I haven't used it much, uh, and so I, I thought I'd move it over to... Uh, actually, I got a uh, what's called a baby hosting package at, at HostGator just to put the um, article directories on it. That keeps them separate from my from the IPs for all my my money sites. Is it necessary? Probably not, but it's a uh, it, it's a little help keeping things separated. Uh, can tend to be a, a a good business practice. But at any rate, uh, what we'll do now is uh, begin the installation of the uh, of the article theme. I've I've uh, used Fantastico to install the blog, and I'm not going to go through that on here. We've got plenty of training and videos for that in our forum. What we'll do now is log into the dashboard and upload the plugins that we've saved. All right, once we've uh, completed the uh, WordPress installation, log into your dashboard, click on Appearance, and then we're going to click on Install Themes, and then click on Upload, because we're going to upload from our computer where we saved it. Click on Browse and locate the folder where you found it, or, or rather where you saved it. It's a uh, zip package, so I, all I have to do is highlight it and click on open, and click on install, let it do its work, and then activate it. And then we'll go and get the plugins. All right, as you can see now, the theme has been activated. Now let's go down, click on plugins, and then add new and now we need to go click on upload browse and let's find the first plugin which is the article directory plugin highlight it open click on install alright that's the article directory plugin now let's go get the uh, UAW plugin following the same procedure. And you'll notice that I saved all of these plugins into the same folder just to save myself some 
searching around and also if I decide to set up another uh, article directory I've got everything together so highlight the UAW click on open install once it's installed activate it and now we have one more which is the uh, WP cache Now for the WP uh, Super Cache, I keep that in a, uh, a separate folder where I've got all of my uh, plugins that I upload, and, I, and I've shown you a number of times in our form and our training how I upload uh, bulk plugins. But uh, what I'm going to do here now is uh, highlight it, and once it's highlighted, I'll just click on the Open, and then go through the same procedure I showed you in the first two to finish uploading the plugins and that takes care of that. This concludes video one for installing an article directory with WordPress. Please go to video two to complete the installation.